Now to move on to the front rim, uh, before I mount it, I am going to uh, do a static balance of the rim. Um, first of all, remove the old weights. Um, I've already removed it already, that way, that's why it was so easy to remove. So this is what I use to uh, do a static balance. Um, this is a static balancer. You can just search it anywhere on the internet. Just search uh, motorcycle wheel balancer. You'll find something like this. It's a really simple design. You can probably even make your own. It's basically a rod on um, on ball bearing on ball bearings basically yeah and then these cones here um, I'll show you in a second they just close in on to the uh, where the axle goes and I have a couple wheel weights and a couple old ones just um, because this is a trial and error process so I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that So just insert the uh, the axle rod through through the rim like that, and then uh, tighten up the uh, the cone, the cones. It should fit snugly, so then there's no side to side movement. And then find uh, two relatively um, parallel surfaces, and basically this just rests on top of it. So now you're pretty much set to um, do the trial and error. The heavier part of the rim will fall to the bottom. So just randomly spin the rim and see where it falls. So I'm just going to stop it right there. That's probably just going to spin forever. So you can see it's falling. And it looks like it's pretty close to where the valve stem is. So it seems right there is the heavy spot. So what you would do is put your wheel weights on the opposite side, which is on the top. And it looks like it's pretty close to uh, where I had it before. So I'm going to be using a old wheel weight and some uh, fun tack, just so then I can just stick it on the rim temporarily. I might not need this much, but we'll see. Okay, now the weight is stuck on the top. Now we're going to spin it and see if there are any heavy spots. And it looks like the spot has uh, has changed a little bit, so I'm just going to move that weight a little bit more closer to uh, to that side. So a perfectly balanced wheel should not move in any position. So I'm going to continue and do that. Um, this is just a trial and error process, so it does take a little bit of time. So I'll be back when I finished balancing the tire. So I found the uh, the place where it needs to be, uh, where the weights needs to be. 
So it turns out I needed three of them. So right now, no matter where you turn it, the wheel should stay put. So uh, now the next step would be to take off the temporary weights and then uh, put the new put the new ones on. So I'm just going to uh, break off three. Clean the area with alcohol before sticking these on. And make sure you mark them. I have them marked here with a uh, marker. Recheck the balance again. And that's perfect. Now you have a perfectly balanced rim.